using layers, a filter, and a couple of adjustment layers, plus a few other little nifty tips and tricks, we're going to take a look at transforming this picture, which was taken on a mobile phone a good few years ago, at the Critch Tram Museum into a little bit of a painterly effect. Right, let's make a start. We're going to come over to the Layers panel. I'm going to use Command J, Control J, that's Command J, Control J, to duplicate the background layer. Looking around the picture, I've got a feeling there's a little bit of a color cast. So we're going to deal with that by going to Enhance, Adjust Color. We're going to go to Remove Color Cast. Now when this opens, it's asking us to select the part of the image which is either going to be gray, white or black. It's given us an eyedropper tool. Now you could select an area around here for the blacks, but I've got a feeling this part of the picture is going to be a little bit easier. Selecting gray from the cobble. So let's click on this and just taking a look. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go over to preview, switching it on and off. Yes, I like what that's doing to the image. We're going to click OK to that. Right, next, we're going to duplicate this layer again. This time, we're going to click anywhere in the area here. And if you right click, you get this fly up menu. We're going to go to duplicate layer. This gives us the opportunity to name the layer. And I'm going to call this what it's going to become, which is going to be sketch. Press enter or return or click on OK. And there it is. Now to apply the sketch, we're going to go to filter. We're going to go down to, yeah, the aptly named sketch. We're going to come across to graphic novel. Now when graphic novel opens, we've got the preset. We're going to use the twisted plot. Love that name, right? You've got the hand tool. If you right click with the hand tool, you've got all of these different zoom ratios you can pop into. Let's go into 50%, which would be pretty good for this size image. Right, just moving it across a little bit. Let's take a look. You've got the darkness. This is uh, 3.21. Make a note of the number. You can then experiment, see how that looks, and just dropping it down very slightly. You can see we can change the look completely. I've got a feeling I'm going to leave this where it was, which was uh, somewhere here. Right, the clean look. If you drop the clean look down, you get even more lineage. But I'm going to take this, I'm going to leave it right up on the maximum of eight. The contrast, dropping the contrast down. This is where we can start to change the, uh, the way that it's looking. I'm going to take it down even further into this area here. And as we start to go down, you'll notice the way it's beginning to brighten up here. See a little bit of the effect as well. I'm going to take it down even further into this area. Just release your mouse or pen as we take it even further into that position. Perhaps just a little bit more there. That will do nicely with the hand tool. You can move your way around the picture and you can see how that's going to look. Right, let's click OK. This is now going to apply it at a rate of knots. It is shooting across. Finally made it. Right, so we can see through our sketch layer to our layer one underneath. We're going to change the blend mode. Clicking on this, we're going to go down to soft lights with soft lights. And there it is. We have now applied the effect and it's looking pretty good. Right, let's go down to layer one. We're making this our live layer. The reason for doing that is we're now going to put in some adjustment layers. And because this is the live layer, when we come to the adjustment layer by clicking on this little half black, half white, we're going to go down to levels. It goes immediately on top of layer one. As we come down to levels, you can see the histogram there is looking pretty good, but we can change it by moving it in this direction. You introduce more of the darker pixels. If you move it in this direction, you make it brighter. And by introducing more of the lighter pixels, you might even like the way that looks. Don't forget, this is going to be completely adjustable because we are using adjustment layers. So you can change it later if you want to, but I'm going to take it into this position here just darkening it down very slightly. Let's come back up to the adjustment layers. We're going to put another adjustment layer. This time we're going to use hue saturation with the saturation slider. I'm going to move this across to the right hand side into that area there. It looks pretty good. Looking around the picture, like the effects. Uh, not so sure that's that green there. That uh, tends to grab your eye a little bit. With the hand tool, if you right click, you get this little fly up menu, actual pixels. Click on this. It takes you to 100% of the picture. And I'm going to go to, I've got a feeling it's going to be green. So I'm going to click on the green from the drop down menu. I'm going 
going to pick up an eyedropper tool just keep your eye down here as well because if i come over if i click on this area you may notice they've uh, jumped around very very slightly now come into the saturation slider look at the way we can quell that green down that looks better like that let's darken it down as well using the lightness slider just closing this down you can press h on the keyboard to give me the hand tool because i've now got the eyedropper tool that's better right clicking we can go to fit on screen and out we pop looking pretty good so far but as we start to look around the picture i think a little bit of texture would be pretty good as well so let's come up to this icon here this is going to put in a new empty layer it's going to put the empty layer directly on top of the adjustment layer of hue saturation so as we click on it in it goes let's double click we're going to call this what it's going to become which is going to be texture right to apply the texture we first of all need to go to edit we need to go to fill layer and we're going to fill it content use select 50 percent gray we're going to click on OK to that. You might even like this effect. Right, let's go to Filter. We're going to come down to Texture. We're going to go across to Texturizer. This is going to open up the Filter Gallery. We're on Texture. We're on the Texturizer. I've got Sandstone selected, but you might like to try Canvas, Burlap, or perhaps even Brick. Let's go down to Sandstone. Going to leave it on the default settings and I'm going to click on OK. Right, so we can see through this uh, part of our layer stack, we again need to change the blend mode. Now we can change it to soft lights, and there it is. Again, with the hand tool selected, if you right click, you can go to actual pixels. We can pop in and we can see the way this is looking. That looks pretty good, but if your picture's even bigger in file size, you may want to increase the amount of texture. Again, you can easily do this by changing the blend mode. Take a look at hard lights. Look at the way that is. But if this is just a little bit too much, again, with the blend mode, you could try overlay and you notice it just softens it down slightly. With all of these, you can, of course, come to the opacity slider and you can reduce the opacity down. But I'm going to go back to soft lights, which is the yeah, least of the effect of between the hard lights and the overlay, that is. And I'm going to leave it like this just looking around the picture like the way that just putting in this top layer of this graphic novel the way that's changed the look of the image yeah really like that right clicking we're going to go to fit on screen we're now going to come up to file we're going to come down to save as and when save as opens i'm going to save it select the folder i'm going to put it in my working folder i'm going to save it as trams and uh, effects let's click on oh make sure you put in a photoshop file so it's now become a dot psd gonna click save okay replacing it because i might have already had one by that name you can now close this down put it aside leave it for a couple of days then view it with fresh eyes if you come back to file i'm going to go to open recent you may notice the jpeg version is still there as well so that is still safely uh in your web whichever the folder is you put it in there is our image these are the layers which made up this particular picture don't forget you can click on any of these you can make adjustments remember i said about having it slightly brighter you can do that it's entirely up to you everything is completely adjustable so go on give it a try i'm going to bring my cursor into this gray area i'm going to right click i'm going to change the background to black pressing tab on the keyboard removes the panels don't forget to use tab to bring them back again but there it is go on give it a try until the next time it is happy imaging and take care